You know, it's estimated one out of every five Oklahoma kids is facing food insecurity. Earlier this year, we learned the state would not be taking part in a federal summer food program aimed at helping those kids who are hungry. The decision sparked backlash. Several tribes are now providing those benefits, but as News 4's Natalie Clydesdale explained, some advocates say it's still not enough. Well, the CEO of Hunger Free Oklahoma tells me just because the state opted out of the program this summer doesn't mean they have to opt out again next summer. And he thinks the governor changing his mind would ensure that all Oklahoma children are fed. And we're also historically the worst state in the country at kids accessing summer meals. It's the first year for the new federal summer EBT program. This summer, the Cherokee, Chickasaw, Choctaw, Muscogee, and Seminole Nations are participating. Eligible families can get up to $40 per eligible child per month. The benefits work together with other federal assistance programs. I think you're seeing in total close to 200,000 kids getting access to this benefit. However, Chris Bernard, the CEO of Hunger Free Oklahoma, says it's less than half of children who are eligible. If the state adopted in, um, close to 450,000 kids would add access to the program. In January, Governor Stitt voiced concerns about being required to commit to the program before the rules were finalized. The reason that we did not uh opt into the EBT program at this point is uh, it's not fully vetted yet and uh, just didn't know enough about the program. I'm not saying we wouldn't do it uh, next year. But and Bernard is calling on the state to get on board. The first official deadline is in the middle of August for the state to say they intend to run the program next year. And to not do it is simply denying these families of the resources they need to feed their families. Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Natalie, thank you. Now, we asked the governor's office if they've given any more consideration to the summer EBT program for next year. We've not heard back yet.